look, we're not gonna do too much talking today. Cause you know when y'all get to talking, y'all y'all can talk too much. We about to go check out uh why you should avoid dead elephants, bro. You ain't gotta you ain't gotta tell me, bro. I'm gonna light my candle real quick and we get started. Hey, y'all got some good ass eyes too, cause it's like crabs on it. And one of y'all was like, <laughs> one of y'all was like, he got a seafood boy candle. I was, it, it was low key funny, I go cap, but bro, it's it's not even that. It's watermelon lemonade. It was like, you I ain't gonna explain that to you. We about to check out why you uh should avoid dead elephants by the homie Casual Geographic. Once you guys your video, link will be description below. But let's go. you can't see it in three seconds, you're already dead. Something in the stomach. Alright, time's up. Did you find it? Oh, not the lion. I meant the hyena inside. So what a lot of people don't realize is that lions actually steal from hyenas more than hyenas do to them. And lions hate hyenas so much that males will chase them down, snap their spines to paralyze them, and then just leave them to die. Is that a so baby much one? That males will chase them down, snap their spines to paralyze them, and then just leave them to die. And in return, hyenas turn any lion cubs they find into chalk outlines. Lions and hyenas oh, are like shit. a Mormon couple before marriage. They do not f with each other. So when one hyena was feeding on an elephant corpse and seven male lions pulled up, he did the only thing you can really do. The hyena buried itself yeah. inside the dead elephant's rotting carcass with seven of his ops just inches away. And it hid there while the lions ate. And when the lions weren't looking, the hyena made- Hey, I know bro it was big scared. He was- he in an ops neighborhood. chilling. don't even know it. If one of them see you, it's a GG and you in bro's stomach. So you trap- man. Damn, I'm really looking at, looking at this like they in the hood. I'm tripping. They, they kind of is, though. Real talk. I bet you won't go to that hood talking shit. All right, then. Seven of his ops just inches away. And it hid there while the lions ate. Like, oh, and when shit. the lions weren't looking, the hyena made a break for it. As oh, the that nigga smart. The sub he was and it late. hid there while the lions ate. And when the lions weren't looking, the hyena made a break for it. <laughs> as the lions here. chased him and made a break for his neck. And even though it was one on seven, the hyena managed to escape and hand the entire team an L. But if you're from Detroit, that's nothing new. I'm in Detroit right now. What you trying to say? <laughs> he lied. He ain't lying though. And the hyena made a break for it as the lions chased him and made a break for his neck. And even though it was one on seven, the hyena managed to escape and hand the entire team an L. But if you're from Detroit, that's nothing new. <laughs> Here are some facts about lions you're probably better off knowing. The most dangerous time to be around a pride of lions is during a storm, since lions are more likely to hunt when it's darker out. Lions are basically serial killers with night vision, and they know it gives them an advantage. So crazy. as ambush hunters, they'd much rather try to catch a body when they know they have the cover of darkness to hide under. On a similar note, man-eating lions are really, really, really rare. But a lion's most likely to turn you into a news article after a full moon, because that's when they're typically at their hungriest. Because the light of the full moon eliminates their element of surprise, they experience a lower hunting success rate. Which is why a lot of documented predatory attacks on humans took place after a full moon when they're at their most mm -mm. desperate. Lions are typically more selfish than tigers. Because where tigers in the wild are often more willing to share if two of them come across a meal, lions are much more cutthroat and will occasionally even snatch leftovers from cubs. Damn, even, even the little niggas can't eat, my bad. Where tigers in the wild are often more willing to share if two of them come across a meal, lions are much more cutthroat and will occasionally even snatch leftovers from cubs. Yeah, gonna run that. And lions don't always have manes, but sometimes females do. In 2016, researchers observed five lionesses that grew manes and started acting like males, even going as far as to start mounting other females. They would also frequently roar and mark their territory, two things that are more associated with lions rather than lionesses. And the reason was believed to be because of hormonal defects causing excessive levels of testosterone in the females. Oftentimes after a successful hunt, lions will leave the immediate area to give their prey a chance to let their guard down again, which increases their success rate for the next hunt. Researchers tracking African lions noticed that more than 80% of the time, the lions would travel more than 3 miles from the kill site. Basically, lions give their victims Ooh. time to process and recover from the trauma just to give it to them again. That's now crazy! That's tough. Here's the biggest like, lie you've been told. That's, you know, you know he's about to beat your ass again because you can't, you can't whoop him. You know what's crazy though? When you think about it, the fact, that, like, how smart animals is. I, I don't know why I said that. How smart animals are, dog. To think how they do so much stuff that we do as humans, it's crazy sometimes. Like, man, like how hyena, how, bro, bro knew he, he had to wait. He knew he was like, ooh, they go whoop my ass. But as soon as he had to get away, bro dipped out. Like, it, it's crazy. I know that it should be natural instinct, like, oh, they gonna kill me. But the fact that he knew, like, I had to hide, like, oh shit, they coming, boom, get in the stomach. Wait, boom, get out. That, bro, that, hey, that's crazy to me. I don't care what you say. You ain't even pay attention to school, so you, you probably don't even like Casual Geographic, so it don't even matter. Process and recover from the trauma just to give it to them again. Now that's tough. Here's the biggest lie you've been told about lions. The king of the jungle is really a queen. Because a lion pride is actually led uh. by females, not the male. 
Lionesses are the ones that own a territory and will defend it together, while males typically leave after two to oh, three Oh, so years. we was capping all the time. the females are the landlords while the males are just on leases. <laughs> sometimes that lease gets canceled along with the male. Cause sometimes oh, lionesses will gang on leases. Sometimes that lease gets canceled along with the male. Cause sometimes lionesses will gang up on elderly males and end both their time as leader and time on earth if they feel like they're unfit to lead the pride. This male was jumped out by at least 10 of his women with what had to be considered homicidal and Damn! Death. Safari workers did break it up with a fire extinguisher, but they were 100% going Them for it. Them jumping Doesn't up. get any better in zoos. In fact, okay, and it nigga, and they just jumping them. And I know, I know they got the long nails on too. So when she knew her partner was pregnant, she set up a, a D appointment and get pregnant and they have a baby together, take care of together. That's crazy. They they probably talk like that for real, but in like lion language. <laughs> the whole time, man, we were just capping. I thought we was king of the jungle. That's crazy. Sisterhood. They'll even get pregnant and give birth around the same time just so they can take turns babysitting each other's kids. But it also means if like you mess that. around and piss one sister off, you'll have to see them all. <laughs> Moral of this video. Turns out we've been spelling it wrong. It's actually Lion King, because Simba acting like he ran the show oh. was nothing but cat. Oh, you know I Lion like what he did there. Go back. It's actually Lion King, because I'm telling you, this dude got a, he, he, he was a rapper before he, this channel took off. I bet he was. See them all. Moral of this video. Turns out we've been spelling it wrong. It's actually Lion King, because Simba acting like he ran the show was nothing but cat. Did you know cow. lions are kind of racist? Lions with darker manes are considered more <laughs> attractive runs. in lion society. It's because darker manes correlate to higher levels of testosterone and better overall health. Basically, lion beauty standards mean Scar would have gotten more than he would know what to do with. And according and, to and Scar looks so fire too in this in the movie. But then again, I could be a little biased because you know me, you know I always go for the villains. Like I, I love only like I don't really care for uh, Avengers, but Ebony Maw is my guy, bro. Freaking dope. I love freaking uh Killmonger way more than um uh black panther bro it's just because the villains always look more fresh because they always got that like i'm clean as hell look i don't know dude basically lion beauty standards mean scar would have gotten more than he would know what to do with and according to research done in south africa lions with black manes reportedly healed better from injuries and survived longer than lighter manes Damn. yeah they got that part right but it also means blonde and light maned lions get screwed Actually, they don't, and that's the problem. Lighter manes are less beautiful attractive Beautiful as hell. That look like if Jimmy was a lion. <laughs> Actually, they don't, and that's the problem. Lighter manes are less it's attractive like beautiful females shit. Need to nurture <laughs> chances of having cubs of their own. And because <laughs> higher testosterone yes. makes better fighters, light manes are more likely to get bodied and vibe checked by darker manes. But dark manes don't got it. Wait, what? It also means blonde and light manes lines get screwed. Actually, they don't, and that's the problem. Lighter manes are less attractive to females, meaning it nerfs their chances of having cubs of their own. And because higher testosterone makes better fighters, light manes are more likely to get bodied and vibe checked by darker manes. Damn. But dark manes don't got it easy either. Long dark hair might attract more females, but it also attracts more heat to the lion. Oh, this is why lions with black manes are this is crazy. I'm sorry to holler in your ear. <laughs> this shit is crazy. <laughs> Casual Geographic. If none of this is cap, because I have not done no research, you fired, dog. Like, real talk. This... I only knew the basics about lions, dude. I, I at this point, I'm I'm sure I only know the basics about damn near every animal out there. I probably only know the basics about cats and dogs. Bro, legit make you laugh and teach you some ish at the same time. But like I said, I don't know if it's 100 percent true yet. So we're gonna let the video play. This is crazy how close animals are to human. Mmm. Long dark hair might attract more females, but it also attracts more heat to the lion. Which is why lions with black manes are more likely to have defective sperm. Remember, the reason most animals have their like baby factory nuts. hanging outside is because too much heat can handicap you. So because nature's a sick joke, the same thing that helps the lion get laid can also be the same reason they can't have I'm cubs. telling you. They can spread the seed, but there's a chance nothing will grow. The more you know. Here's why trusting this monkey can get you murdered. I just don't like these. <laughs> I almost called them. I just don't like monkeys, though. I'm gonna just let you know that now. Off rip. I just, I don't but there's a chance nothing will grow. They just mean know. shit. Here's why trusting this monkey can get you murdered. This is a yellow baboon and he's probably the biggest sellout in nature. Baboons have these alarm calls they'll make to warn others of danger. So if one baboon sees like a lion, it'll make the call and all the others will rush into the safety of the trees. And it turns out other animals like the antelope and the kudu have actually figured out the baboon's alarm system. Ooh. So whenever they hear it and see the monkeys climbing into the they trees, they take that as a sign to peace out too. Oh. Now there's two problems with this. The baboons know that the antelope rely on them to not get killed, but they also know that the safest line is one that's already been fed. 
So now these baboons will play lookout, but instead of warning the others when they see lions hunting, not only will they stay quiet, but sometimes they'll even leave the tree and wander on the ground. Little... That's dirty as hell. Others when they see lions hunting, not only will they stay quiet, but sometimes they'll even leave the tree and wander on the ground like nothing's wrong. Oh! That makes the antelope think they're safe. That's how they end up on Mufasa's meal prep. And just to make it worse, sometimes the baboons will actually sit and watch the animals that thought they can trust them fall into the trap and get hunted down. And as long as they keep sacrificing other animals, the baboons know the lions won't come after them. It's like being a lookout but going mute when the police show up so you don't end up in cuffs. You need, you need to tell me five over down the street and I got all this damn dope in my pocket. You know what's crazy, dog? Know because there's legit people in the world like that too. That shiesty as hell. Why is this video so damn fire, dog? I, so before, be, as soon as I saw the first clip of the monkey, I told you, I like, bro, I just don't like him. I, I, hey, I love animals, I told you. Chihuahuas get on my nerves. Monkeys, I just don't like, dog. Gorillas, I rock with, bro, I'm not gonna cap. Gorillas are dope to me, especially silverback. But monkeys, I, will come after them. It's like being a lookout but going mute when the police show up so you don't end up in cuffs. And since baboons historically hate big cats like lions and leopards, that's to the point where they'll kidnap and abort cubs because they're afraid of what they'll grow into. It's literally Damn. the animal version of working with the feds. Yo. Moral of this video, y'all called him a rat when you really could have just called him a baboon from bush. Here's why this lion is terrified and you should be too. It's being chased by a do look scared as shit. This lion is terrified and you should be called him a rat when you really could have just called him a baboon from bush. Here's why this lion is terrified and you should be too. It's being chased by a herd of pink buffalo. They can weigh 1,300 pounds, they delete about 200 people a year, and they're so homicidal they've been nicknamed Black Death. They also travel in hoods of up to 200. Now, I want you to remember that number. Damn. And that's because cave buffalo are one of the very few animals that will actively Damn. seek revenge on others. When a cave buffalo is wounded by a hunter, he's one of the very bro. few animals that will actively seek revenge on others. When a cave buffalo is wounded by a hunter, its first response is to retreat and hide in tall grasses or brush. If you're dumb enough to follow it, then 1300 pounds of malicious intent will ambush you and knock you to the ground. Then they'll back up and then they just wait. Because if you manage to get back on your feet, then this black air force oppa will charge and gore you again. And they'll keep this up until you just stop. I'm sorry. It was like a school fight. He was beating the shit out the cat. He got to go to home to school. He can't come back. But that nigga whooped your ass. We did not us look. No, you did. No, I'm sorry. I was trying my heart. I'm sorry. I was trying my hardest to not laugh and stop it. I'm so sorry. But I couldn't get it out of my head. Because the whole time, you know, I don't know if you ever see that school fight. All you hear is. That's all I was like hearing. And the bro was just getting beat up. The 200. I want you to remember that number. And that's because cave buffalo are one of the very few animals that will actively seek revenge on others. When a cave buffalo is wounded by a hunter, its first response is to retreat and hide in tall grasses or brush. If you're dumb enough to follow it, then 1300 pounds of malicious intent will ambush you and knock you to the ground. Then they'll back mm. up and then they just wait. Because if you manage They're to like get back me, on your feet, then this black air force oppa will charge and gore you again. And they'll keep this up until you just stop moving. But it gets really bad when you piss off a whole herd. Because then they'll form a circle around you and completely erase the option of escape. They'll keep you in that circle until one sees an opening and attempts to impale you. And the same rules apply if you're like you're trying to get the really fuck bad out of when there. you piss off a whole herd. Because then they'll form a circle around you and completely erase the option of escape. They'll keep you in that circle until one sees an opening and attempts to impale you. And the same rules apply if you're still moving, then their job's not finished until you are. Which is why one of the most vicious animals you can hunt is an African cow from the trenches. Which is why it has another nickname, Widowmaker. Because the fastest way to get out. If you play Overwatch, bro, <laughs> you cow from the trenches. It. Which is why it has another nickname, Widowmaker. Because the fastest way to get out of a marriage is to tell your husband to go hunt one in the morning because then you go to bed close? one human being lighter and one life insurance policy richer. This man was Joe Exotic before Joe Exotic. This is Mr. Antoine Yates. And in 2001, Yates was 31. He was a construction worker and he was the owner of an eight week old kitten that he Oh, I think I remember this. And, uh, yo. As a kid, he was obsessed with animals. Sounds familiar. And when he was three, he got his first pet, which was a hamster. It only escalated from there. Fast forward to 2003, Harlem police were called to his apartment to follow up on a complaint. The complaint being that Yates had a six foot pet alligator mm. named Al that he kept in a tank. But when police used a periscope to look inside his apartment, this is what they saw. 
What the fuck? Yup, I'd have dropped that telescope. This is what they, they saw. What the fuck? That's creepy, dog. That eight week old kitten was actually a Bengal tiger cub that grew into a 450 pound assault weapon. His name was Ming, by the way. Antoine bought him from an animal park and was feeding him with raw chicken that he bought from a supermarket. And people didn't even start mm. finding out about it until Yates went to a hospital with bite and claw marks and tried to say mm. his pet pit bull did it. Here's where the story gets interesting. Apparently, Antoine had roommates in his five bedroom apartment that at first didn't know they were also rooming with a whole tiger. One woman said she was terrified at first, but eventually got used to having her life in danger every day. I'm snitching. I'm telling the landlord like a mother. I, I don't even care, dog. I'm, I'm gonna turn to the monkeys. I'm gonna Takashi six nine like a mug at that point. Dude, this, this is why having roommates is weird, dog. Peep, having roommates is weird, dog. If you gonna do something like that and you know it's dangerous, that's why you ain't tell nobody, and that's why you, when you went to the doctor, you was capping. Man, you better let me know. I bet I just randomly one day I go out and get my cereal and I see a, a tiger in the living room or in your room or something. If that tiger Stop playing with me, dog. My bad. The story was just so weird. Stupid, dog. I, 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 oh my God. One woman said she was terrified at first, but eventually got used to having her life in danger every time she came home from work. Mm -mm. When Yates eventually got busted, his mom got charged as well. Why? Well, it turns out she had been babysitting in the apartment at the same time that Shere Khan was still a tenant. And when his neighbors were questioned, they said he had had bear cubs, rabbits, monkeys, hyenas, snakes, one llama, weird that he only had one, and even a lion cub. Remember, this started with a f***ing hamster. Ming the tiger was tranquilized and sent to Noah's Lost Ark in Ohio, where he lived until 2019. And Yates went on to sue the state of New York for the loss of his pets, only for a judge to curse him out of court. <laughs> Moral of the story, so no matter what Florida does, New York is never too far behind. Okay, we're gonna do this one last time and then I will never speak about this again. The Black Panther, not an animal, like, it ain't real. Because Panther can be any one of these right here. Because the word panther refers to panthera, which is a starting lineup of cats that includes lions, tigers, jaguars, leopards, and snow leopards. The black panther has always been my number one cat. It just always looks so... Yo, I love all big cats. I'm not going to count. They look amazing as ish. So I can understand why people want them as pets, but I'm not doing that. But the black panther has always been my favorite, and then the jaguar next. Because the black panther, he just looks... Or she just looks hella slick and dope. It just looks like I got powers or something. And then the jaguar, like when it's running, it just it just looks amazing. But that's crazy. I just learned something new today. Starting lineup of cats that includes lions, tigers, jaguars, leopards, mm. and snow leopards. We good so far? So technically, any one of these cats can be called a panther. Now, black panther is just a word for any one of these cats that has a mutation that causes melanism. But it only affects two of them. So when you say black panther, you're really just talking about a dark-skinned leopard that or jaguar. That is And it's probably a jaguar. Oh, no, what, what I say? The gene that causes these charcoal cats is dominant in jaguars, but recessive in leopards. But technically, if a lion, tiger, Damn, or snow leopard dope. got this mutation and came out black, we would be able to call them black panthers too. Because I already know I'm finna get that one smart ass comment. Yes, some people call this a panther. But mountain lions aren't part of the panther genus. In fact, they don't even qualify as big cats. Cougars are actually closer to your pet cat than they are to lions or tigers. So yeah, what you call a black panther is really just an emo jaguar. And if uh, you're close emo enough to see that even though they're black, they still have the same spot patterns that the normal ones have. Oh, they do? If you're close enough to see that, you're probably gonna see nothing but black. It's probably gonna probably see why nothing I never but knew. black next. I'm actually glad you said that because fun fact, pink panthers do exist. This leopard has a super rare mutation that causes the coat to appear strawberry flavored instead of the normal brownish orange with black spots. Remember the rule, if it's any one of these cats, it can be called a panther. Now this pink panther has a mutation called erythrism. And because it's so rare, we don't really know that much about it, but it's believed that it causes the body to produce extra red or pink pigments. This also happens in animals like raccoons and coyotes. Before an animal like a leopard whose life literally depends on being able to hide, it's even rarer and he's right there by the way. Oh, the coat doesn't shit, really look no. pink, but it's like a pinkish hue. But since leopards qualify as panthers, that's Bro, a pink chilling. panther right there. Also, we got white panthers too. Not like a colonizer's response to Wakanda, but like an actual cat. This lion has a mutation called leucism, which causes partial pigment loss. To be confused with being albino, which is total pigment loss. And one last time, because y'all keep making me say it, since they're one of these cats, you can call this a white panther and be factually correct. And then you have this white cougar that was found in a national park in Brazil in 2013. When I say Man. rare, it was recorded eight years ago and never seen again. But mountain lions aren't part of the panther genus, so they have to sit at the little cat lunch table with cheetahs, ocelots, bobcats, and even pet cats. The more you know.
Listen, did you know that a polar bear skin is black and their fur? Oh yeah, I did yeah, know yeah, that. Polar bear black skin. I got it. Hey, go follow that guy. He's pretty cool. But listen, did you know that lions will roar as a pride to mark their territory? And these roars can last up to forty seconds and travel for five miles. And since they do it together, Damn. cubs will try to join in even when they aren't old enough to roar yet. And it sounds something like this. That is dope. I can't count, though. No. Yeah, you kind of have to have a That's good day dope. seeing that. I've always said, too, legit. I was like, man, if I could ever, like, actually touch or have, like, a big cat at all, it would have to be when it's freshly new or whatever. I was like, I'll, once I start growing up, nope, I don't freaking want, want it. And that story, dog, when it, when it got to the story, I was like, oh, my gosh, I already know. I, I'm quite sure a lot of us already know that story. Freaking crazy dog man hey this video was so down fire dude casual geographic never freaking failed me hey but look i want you to enjoy your christmas i'm about to go downstairs and chill with my kiddos probably watch some grinch make some cookies do whatever man this video was fire i love how you can watch casual geographic and legit crack up at something at the same time while learning something like that is so freaked up the whole black panther thing that trip y'all like the whole time I, I never knew that i legit thought they were black panthers like they were their own cat they always just looked like like this look like power this is like he just like go f ish up like he's just like he's just like i don't know I always just like dude they just it, that feel was just like man come come find a whole time my second favorite cat is what it actually actually was like that is freaking dope and then he was like close up and like, you see like the spots as i never knew that i thought it was, thought it was just like jet freaking black whatever but like he said also as well was like, but if you, you're close enough to see that dude yeah, you about to really see black. And, and I, I never been that close to see that. And I don't, I'm never going to be. I better not be. Stop playing. But enjoy your Christmas. I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here.